Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. <laughs> he ran the corporation Hyperia and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less. Uh, Obvious rewards. Stories. Legends. Those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Some sort of radiation leak, I don't know about it. So, who are you? I ask the questions. Okay, then, do you mind asking yourself who you are? Oh! <laughs> Ow, what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E... Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person, so just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest was guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find to be it, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? I mean, you always <laughs> said that. Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. 
It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're gonna buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Yeah, there are a couple sweet rides I've been looking at. More fitting of the position I'm gonna be in. Where the hell would you even drive that thing? We're in space. Well, I wouldn't actually use it. It would be more for looks. Oh, right. Well, then that's a great idea. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Hey, hey, we made it, okay? We're in this together. If I'm moving up, we're all moving up. You can be certain of that. I appreciate that, Reese. You know, people around here have short memories when it comes to that stuff. You, me, Yvette, we're gonna run this place. Yes, we are. All right, man, let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. We need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red, I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car, didn't even have to ask. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North, why the handsome guy always gets the girl, and why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny, Reese. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million, yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Oh, that should be me. Only less... Uh, vasquez -y. Three years sucking up yeah, to yeah, the yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah, no, but... Out the window. Ugh. 
Why do the do you come back to always have the best view? It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get. Yes. Yeah, that's what we had before. It's a working day at least, and I just got this promotion. What a waste. Such a nice suit. No, no. Uh, look, 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 are you going... Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? Wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. 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 Okay. Say out of your mouth. Damn it. Ah, oh, right. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. Uh, I think it was something about buying a vault key, right? Oh, just like that. Buying a vault key, right? You're like a kid sounding out the words. All right, your uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice janitor. What? No, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. Fine. I've had to do worse in my career. That's the spirit, Reese. Nothing teaches you humility faster than scrubbing toilets. You're dismissed, Reese. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Bob. I'm finished. You know how this place is. There's blood in the water! And everyone can smell it! No, 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 they can't. Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D451 for trash cleanup. Because that is your job now, to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Huh. Vasquez screwed me out of the promotion. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. Holy crap. So, does that mean you're not buying? Mm-hmm. 
well, just trying to lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is its vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Asquez, we have a friggin' vault key! What are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. I mean, it's, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone. Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, 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 right? hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look. It's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Richter was an asshole and his family are assholes. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. But you're buying me lunch now and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? You can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... If you're gonna steal something, I uh, figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. Person. What would you cross right there? Oh, crap. I think we... I think we killed it. Are we murderers now? We're, we're murderers. We're murderers. Great, great, we murder. Relax, Vaughn. It's a skag. They breed like hostile rabbits down here. Still, it's kind of sad. Yeah. 
kind of. So, what do we say if someone asks where we got the money? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do we tell people? We should have a story. I, mean, I would prefer not to tell them that we stole it from Hyperion. That would not go over well. We can just say it's for charity. What does that even mean? We say it's uh, some sort of open a vault for Pandorans kind of deal. People love stuff when it's attached to a charity. They hardly ever question their intentions. So, this looks... Not good. Oh, we got ourselves a hero here. What are you looking at? It's Pandora. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I, I guess I'm just now more acutely aware that I have ten million dollars chained to me. Is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. I'm just getting a vibe, you know. Fallen, don't be such a wuss. You know, when you say things like that, I sometimes forget you're pretending to be the guy who would say things like that. Yes, is it? Wait, what? Okay, look, it's a boring, dusty old town. Nothing more, all right? Sure. Listen, one tap on the arm, and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know how it works, but it's definitely neat. Yeah, stick. Neato. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. You and me, Yvette. I mean, we bring this key back. And they're gonna make us the once and future kings of that place for sure. They'll send in a crew to use the key, and then that's it. Then it's kick back on the moon beach time. Yeah, yeah, we'll pop champagne and everything after we get back with the key. Ah, come on, it's in the bag. The tracker's beep, beep, beeping, but I don't see the place. It's the world of curiosities, right? Yeah, do you see it? No. Could ask one of them. They seem normal ish. Normal ish enough, anyway. Or you could ask one of them. You're the closer, right? So close. Get us some direction. I have a feeling he's somewhat inebriated. Excuse me, but do you know where the world of curiosities is? Right. Well, don't trouble yourself. Hi, sir. Yes, do you... I think I'm gonna just skip this guy. Hey, uh, do you know where the world of curiosities is? Ah, uh, okay. Oof, not a very handsome fellow, is he? We don't have all day here, Reese. Do you know where the world of curiosities is? Uh... 
It should be around here. You lost? Um... What are you here for? Uh, why do you even care? Because you're driving your ass wagon all through my town. Kicking up earth, stirring up spider ants. And when the spider ants come, people get killed. Sorry, um, we didn't... You're Hyperion. You wake suckers ruined this town, you know that? Atlas were bastards, but at least they had the good sense to fail. When Jack came in, he turned everything to smoke. Listen, all we want are directions to the world of curiosities. That's it, okay? We get that, and we're gone. Gone, huh? Hey, little man. What's in the case? Hey, kitty cat. Show us what's in the case. <laughs> okay, now, look. Before we get all bent... <laughs> oh. Is there, like, a convention or something? Oh. Bandits. You know what we got here? Reese, do the... We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot, the vet, prime it. <sighs> Already? Really? Just. <laughs> give, me, give me the menu. Okay, but don't go bananas. These things ain't cheap. And do you know what we do with warmongers? Do you know what we do? Should we tell them what we do with Hyperion workers? Motorbot deployed. Time to clock in. Listen, boys. You're gonna hand over that case. Or you're handing over your heads. Your choice. Look, guys, let's talk about this. Got quiet all of a sudden. Something already. Please stop shooting me. Engaging target. See? Piece of cake. Must really have to go. That is not good. Come on! These cost so much. Thank you kindly. Wait, 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 wait! wait. Uh, Loaderbot! Go get the car! Stop! Thieves! Come <laughs> on. 
interesting. Did I know? Your freaking bot tossed us both out. Now kindly stand still and die. That's all I wanted to know. We could have avoided all of this. Ow! Get your ass gone! Okay, okay, okay. Loader bot, put the car down. Sure thing. Bandits. Imminent. Reese, do something! A new subsystem requires your attention. Alright, we'll have to improvise. Time to get funky. Reese, just tell it to run. Self-destruct option. Parting with such sweet sorrow. I will name my firstborn Loderbot. Well, you know, pr probably not, but... I... I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I, I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That... That was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. For some reason. But for those guys... A lot of those guys... Oh, come on. It was a little fun, right? You cannot honestly stand there and tell me that it didn't feel kind of great to kick all those guys' asses. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was a little... awesome. But I'm sure it was as traumatic as it was fun. We're probably gonna need some therapy in the future, you know that, right? We'll be able to afford it. Alright, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. 
Get the hell out of here. Ugh, does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? Alright, you know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it right to. Right this way to the world-famous hall. Of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Not to be confused with his brother, Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane, he will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Oh, I remember this guy. He was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! No witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? Oh. It's locked. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Well, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. Are you two not just the... Don't do ah! that! Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to scare you guys! <laughs> it, it just... it just happened, you know? Things happen, they happen! What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the... like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosity. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> but unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. <laughs> I mean, we can do other things. We're looking for a man in August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure. Sure. Why didn't you say so, huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Yeah, we know. Yeah? If you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it.
my grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? I'm Vasquez, and there's nobody else coming. What the hell are you doing? What? You're not Vasquez. I know Hugo. I just talked to him a few hours ago. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hugo told us to tell you that we that he was Vasquez. <laughs> As a joke, you know? <laughs> because he is so, so obviously not him. <laughs> right? So, what's your name? Just so we're on uh, equal footing. It's Reese. Reese? Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. The kind that are hard to break. Uh-uh, no. I know how this works. We see the merchandise first, then you see the money. Yeah. <sighs> all right, all right. The baby wants its bottle. Fine. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. I'd use it myself, but, you know, the monsters and all. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so... The way I uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look! You said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done! I get intuitions about this stuff. We're good here. Everyone relax. We just want to buy the key from August and go. Yeah. He just wants to buy a key. From me. Sasha, what the hell are you- I just... I just don't like it. They've had this... dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They... He pretended to be Vasquez, August. As a joke! <laughs> and why... why wouldn't they show you the money, huh? What's up with that? Sasha? They've been all, oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that! And especially Hyperion or monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? Hey, Sasha? Sasha, listen to me. I, I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah. You think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, we are not like those assholes. In, in fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. I'm sold. Awesome. Let's do this. Well, just wait. Just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. 
Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird, if you ha have a feeling about things... August, Bubby, come on now, a deal's a deal. We didn't come all the way down here, just no, to... I'm I'm sorry, guys, I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really. No, I made up my mind. August, wait! Reese, this is your department. Do something! It's okay. You don't know it yet. Know what? That this... This is it. You can't see that one day. Maybe ten years from now. Maybe ten months. Maybe tomorrow. You're gonna think back on right now. And scream to the stars for mercy of death. Just so you'll not have to live in the wondering of what could have been. What if I had seized that chance by the what if I had beaten my fears, taken what was so rightfully mine? What if I had won? <laughs> I am a winner, Reese. I am a winner! Well, well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! Oh, that sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. You couldn't have asked me first. You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could have. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive bombing me for the last. Oh, okay, I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is. Oh, this ought to be good. No, yeah, go on. I can't wait. The vault key shattered. It's mine! To give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Wait, 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 wait. How is that? The most important thing. Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. I was born here, on Pandora in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. 
This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. There. That looks good. If Augustus' offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a vault key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. Keep them from touching it? How do you expect me to do that? I don't know. But you'll think of something you always do. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. You can count on me, Felix. I know. It's just nice to hear it out loud sometimes. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. So you want me to shoot my way out? Might need a bigger gun. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. I got it. 